Oh, this is what I love. Sonoko Nakano is her coach. Wait for it. Wait you know for it's it. coming. Skating fans. Oh, no, go back. No, 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 how dare you. This is what we wait for. <laughs> there it is. Oh, there's the back slap. Mai Mahara of Japan getting the back slap there. Uh, 2017, so she did stand on the senior national podium for the first time with bronze, but she was behind Sotoko Mirhar and Wakaba Haguchi. Just adds to the, uh, the tension there. But she had a great senior Grand Prix debut last season, capturing her first medal at her first event, bronze at Skate America. Microphone's picking up how clean that landing was on that second jump. Crisp landings. Respect for the ice and the music. Her center of gravity is so low. When she skates into those jumps, she's able to create so much speed, flexion in her ankle and knees. She's one of those skaters that floats across the ice. Tricky entrance into a relatively simple jump, a double axle, using exactly what David was talking about, that beautiful knee work. generation I wouldn't go too far out of bounds by saying the spins were a rest a moment where I could relax not anymore we are men of our generation don't blame yourself Putting on a bit of a clinic as far as clean jumping, everything in the right spot, balance over the blade going in. Not a lot of speed. That would be one area she could work on, but place your blade and keep your body over that landing leg and just let momentum take care of you. Once again, with a very difficult, challenging entry into that edge jump, triple Sakao, and on top of it, both arms up in the air. Content. David Wilson, the choreographer, the music, the mission, Gabriel's oboe. And she skates it with a calm majesty. Japan 
gained attention by winning the 2017 Four Continents Championship back in February, which was held in South Korea at the very venue where the Olympics will be held. So a feather in her cap for winning that one. But the 2017 Worlds, she had a really bad short skate. She was sitting in 15th, but her free really saved her. She was fourth in that to at least climb in the top five, finishing fifth overall. But what did you make of this performance? The calm majesty, I'm gonna repeat myself. I just feel that she looks one way and skates another. It seems like she should be a junior skater with that, that round little face. And then she carries the music with such um, ease. And she has so much patience in her edges and her takeoffs and holds her landings. Just so much respect for the ice and the flow and the momentum. And that was the biggest mar of the whole program. And just sets herself up every single time to land her jumps clean. A little tiny landing on the toe pick and then a under, you know, finishing the rotation on the ice. I find her in air position to be quite exquisite. Textbook, feet appointed. Arms are in the right place, fully extended body. What I would have liked to see is a little bit more of finish between the jumps. I mean, you've said it best. She's got a great technique. She's putting on a clinic as far as jumping. What happens between the jumps? I'd like to see a little bit of growth, a little bit more speed, carry more speed. Oh, yeah, I thought she carried the music very well, but I, I definitely agree with you on the speed. It, She's very calm, conserving a lot of energy, and certainly no risk. Um, but areas she can improve on. But so nice to have that backbone of great technique, especially under pressure. Well, she had a great 2017 World Team Trophy, where she set a Japanese national record with her free skate marks of 146.17. Won't get that here, 139.17, but digesting the numbers and thinking, okay, I think that's enough right now to at least hold me in the lead at 206.07. So let the battle continue between the Japanese ladies as they get set for the 2018 Olympics with only two spots available.